every equestrian wants spring right now. It's also muddy. Ugh. Time for breakfast and I really need to get my fringe cut but I tried to do it once and it didn't go well so I'm gonna wait till lockdown's over. I actually haven't had a banana pancake for a very long time because I'm vlogging it reminded me of it so I was like oh let's go again. I'm um, <clears throat> whoa. I'm just gonna do my exercises that I do every time before I ride, which I got from Andy Thomas, who is a physio. He used to actually be on the world class team, um, and he's just great. So I'm gonna do those exercises. There's three or four of them. There's four of them. I don't know why I said it like there might be four of them. There are four of them. Um, do that. I'm not filming one of them because it looks so dodgy. <laughs> Actually, most of them look dodgy, but I'll show you a few. I'm not sure how I'm meant to film these from these angles, but... <laughs> uh, this is called the clam. What does that mean? Oh. And the dogs every day come and kill me with their breath. No, Mimi. So I do 20 of those each side. I feel like this is not happening, filming these. Look at the spurs that come with the boots. Okay, the metal bit didn't, but the actual spur straps. Oh, oh everyone's in the way. <laughs> Trying to get to the... Hello, Dottage. So, sorry, I realised I didn't really say what was going on today. Um, I used to always sit down on the old bench, didn't I, and chat away, uh, but didn't really have time to do a huge one, uh, and I wanted to crack on. Um, but anyway, normal day of training horses, and then I'm teaching from one till six, so that's not going to be very exciting to vlog, but mm, I wanted to vlog, so here we are. Uh, so I've got Sausage in now, I'm going to do a little bit of groundwork before I ride him. Um, just like the basic patterns, it's the dogs. The basic patterns to move his body around, and then um, give him not too hard a day, because we've got training tomorrow. But yeah, that is what we're doing today.
just finished riding sausage um, and it was really, really good, interesting. Did something that I don't do enough, but you could say that about everything because there's loads of things. And that is just working him through the um, shoulder in, travers and half passes in canter in more of like a stretchy, like long and low, not really, really long and low, but uh, a lower frame than you would for the Grand Prix because the Grand Prix is quite a up and um, it's a hard frame for them. Um, and because he's my first Grand Prix horse and I'm trying to like figure it all out, sometimes I can get stuck in keeping him in that frame. Like I stretch him to warm him up, don't get me wrong, but then I'm like right up in this frame. And I wanted to just check I could do all that stuff in like a lower, longer frame so that I knew I really had him on my seat and I can feel like if I'm balancing him off my reins rather than my seat. And so what I just worked on, and sorry the video is not very good, I just had to put my phone on the side, is just being able to put his body in that position in the half pass, um, that's the bit I filmed, and like let go of my reins and he stays in that position and he stays connected on the outside um, and he stays like in balance without me holding him and then for the, literally for the last two minutes I just picked him up into that frame, checked that one I could get it um, and how he felt after working that and he felt really good and I didn't have him on the hand um, and he was much more like up and out rather than restricted which is what we're always going for um, so that was interesting I'm kind of sad that I couldn't get it filmed properly um, but it is what it is even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside just a bit of sugar to that hobbit bitter Maybe you taste different Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you While you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you While you're going on About your simple Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different You really need a new bridle, don't you? Yum yum!
It's a sausage in the field. Sauce! Don't get me in, mummy. Uh, Zach? <laughs> Erin, hard at work. <laughs> I rode Eagle and then um, went to just cool him off and I was like, oh yeah, we have an outdoor and it's sunny now. So why am I inside? I think spring is on its way. So I'm on Zach now. I'm gonna go and ride in the outdoor. He absolutely loves the outdoor as well. So that'll be fun. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss me I just stay Pretty though. You're so pretty. I need to take the moment uh, just to say, wow, that was such a good ride. Um, I'm so, so happy. I have been struggling with Zach recently. Um, yeah, I think it's always hard. The seven year old stage is always hard because you're really now gearing them up for the advanced stuff. And um, yeah, you're, you're, you're pushing on. And someone described yesterday, my friend Robbie, we were doing a podcast yesterday, and he's like, oh, it's a little bit like, you know, I feel like I'm riding around on the ugly duckling. And I have to remember ugly ducklings turn into swans. And I'm like, wow, that was such a good thing to remember. Um, so that's kind of what I went in there thinking today. And also my amazing trainer, Callum Whitworth, um, I had a lesson with him on Friday. And I was just like, I said to him something, I, I missed a change. And I was like, I'm not very good at changes. He said, no, Olivia, it's not that you're not good at changes. He's like, the only thing you're not good at is doing enough. And I was like, ooh. And what he means by that is uh, I don't ask enough. Um, 
I don't ask the horses enough questions. I'm kind of like, oh, I think because I doubted myself for so long, I don't kind of like, right, we're doing this. And if it doesn't feel good, I'm like, oh, is that me? Or instead of kind of just going, no, it's fine. It's okay that it doesn't feel good. Let's just keep going. The other golden nugget that he gave me was... Um, he said, don't worry about if he goes downhill for a couple of strides because you're sorting something out. Don't avoid sorting that thing out because you're worried about it being downhill for a few strides. Fix it and then you can then get him back uphill and he'll feel so much better. And today what I did, you might notice, he's a little bit like lower than you'd want in a test, a little bit more like a different frame. And that's at the moment where I'm working him just to get him feeling much more supple and loose. And then at the end, I don't know if... Um, it was filmed but at the end then I pick him up and he's so soft and uphill whereas the tricky thing with him is if you put him uphill and he's not let go like he's a little bit resisting on the bit he's a little bit running through the bridle he's he's not uh, supple left and right then it's a very false false thing and he then basically locks his jaw and just runs off and he's against me and his body doesn't feel nice so I've had to work really hard at getting his body better and then bringing him uphill so it's kind of like a process you can't just and it's why it annoys me when people hop on on the internet and they're like that horse should be much more like this yes ideally it should but you're looking at like a training scale aren't you you're looking at like a a moment in time um and that's why it's so hard to share training stuff on social media not even training stuff just showing like taking a seven-year-old out to do a green test people are like oh what's terrible yes it is at this time but that's part of learning and nobody ever gets to like a success or to the top or like it looking beautiful without that dodgy like kind of baby stage uh, also someone once said to me um to create a masterpiece it sometimes gets messy and i'm like so true you know, like painting, paint goes everywhere, it looks a bit dodgy halfway through. You're like, what's it even going to be? And then at the end, you're like, wow, my ramble is done now. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, oh, it's broken. I nearly fell off Joey. It's so standard though with Joey. It's like the norm. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be really windy. Sorry, I'll make it quick. It's gonna go and teach now. Yeah. You just keep thinking about it being smooth. Like an experienced driver. That's two back. Go forwards, go forwards, go. Okay, you need to get the go in, but yeah, better. Good go. Yeah, that was good. Oh, much better. Just one stride, one, go. Yeah, there we go. Then you get in there before she drops you. That's it, steady. One, go. Exactly, she's not expecting that. One, go. Yes, much better. And one, go. Now you're getting it. Now you got it. Better? Much better. Well done. And then a little bit back. Little bit, yes, little bit back. And then out. It's almost Yeah, fun. that's better. Just change the rein, do some the other way. That's much better now because you can see you're adjusting it. It's all right, find it. 
Exactly, well ridden. She went to drop you and you got in there. Out, yes, much better. This is really good, well done. Little bit through. Out, yeah, good. Little bit back, little bit out. Well done. Good. And again. Then what we're going to do, keep doing what you're doing. And then on the next long side at B, you're going to do a PF. Okay? But just keep doing this. Whoa and go and whoa and go. And yes. That. And then come out. Yeah. And it should feel much easier now. Still doing your coming back though. That's it before you get to B. Exactly, exactly, then come out. It's okay, just a little loss of balance. That was good. Good, now come back again. And now come out. Bloody hell, she's made it. Woo, big pat. Frankie did amazing. For anyone wondering, by the way, she didn't travel in for the lesson. There was lives here, so don't worry. Um, and my camera is about to die. <laughs> but all I've got to do now is teach um, virtually. So literally sit at my laptop and teach people over Zoom. Um, so I guess we can finish the vlog here because that's all I'm going to be doing till six o'clock tonight. And my camera is flashing at me. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, share onto social media that you are watching and let me know what you thought. Like and subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be back with another one soon.